bury the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was proclaimed to you by us, Silvanus and Timothy and me, was not yes and no, but yes has been in him. For however, many are the promises of God. Their yes is in him. Therefore, the amen from us also goes to him to God for glory. But the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put his seal upon us and given the spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. Steady my footsteps according to your promise, and let no iniquity rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your status. Lord, let your face shine on me. Jesus Christ shall reign. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ shall reign. Alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Prince of Peace, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, shall reign. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lamp stand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. 
Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So always I ask this question, if anyone has seen a subtler soul, I think it's only Jesus who, who mentioned this. But it's not there. Thoughtless salt. And salt. We know what it does. Now, talking about light, we know what it does, okay? It helps us from our darkness, okay? But apart from that, is the light. You see, the nearer you get to the, you get closer to the light, the more you see what you are wearing, how dirty it is, okay? So when you are far from the light and you're closer that you don't even know. But when you get closer, then you know, you see. So of course, the closer you get to God, the more you realize how sinful you are. So we hear of the saints, you know, or people you think they are holy, and they are always complaining about committing sin. And you don't actually know what they are even doing. You see, so that is the light. Now, what Jesus is saying over here is just like, you, you can't go back. You see, you are salt. So you have to do what salt will do, okay? You are light. And you can't do anything apart from what light will do. What can you do? It's light. When it's light up now, we all say, oh, you know, a kind of dismay. But when there is light, oh, we are happy. Light has come back. You know, all those things plays around us. Now, the third one is we are a city on a hill. You cannot be hidden. So who you are, you cannot be hidden. It's like... Uh, as if you have no choice. Now, this is where the sacrifice will come in. Sacrifice. So with Jesus, everything goes with sacrifice. The salt. You see, you, you, if you put salt into soup, you can't get it back, okay? So in my en encounter with you, there must be a change. You can encounter and still remain the same. So there must be a change. So the salt will go into the soup, and you can't get the salt back. If you pour it into water, it will dissolve. If you evaporate, well, you have the fine salt. You, you will not get the same salt, okay? The same with the light. What we are having now, can it go back into the bulb or whatever? No. It has spread out. It's gone. So that is our life as Christians. You have to impact. And there's certainly going to be a change. And that change is what we are calling the sacrifice. That is why you have to know you are salt and you have to do the duty of a salt. But let us not be too much discouraged. You see, the word of God is always there to give us the courage. The first reading, okay? But the one, I'm stressing that, the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God, okay? He has also put his seal upon us, okay? That is why you are salt, that is why you are light. And given the spirit in our hearts as a first installment. So what are you afraid of? He has given you the spirit in your heart as a first installment. So you can perform your duty. You can be salt. You can be light. You see, but if you don't understand this, if you don't relate it, then you're the, how am I going to do this? You have it. Because he has called you, he has equipped you, and he's sending you out. And he will protect you because he has given you all the security. God bless us.
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, anointed by God and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that under the direction of her leaders, she may always say yes to the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that we who are called to be prophets of peace, justice, and life may let our light of truth and love shine brightly before the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our loyalty to God's commands may make our footsteps steady according to his promise of life and salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked our prayers in a time of suffering or grief, for all who are in need of prayer and have no one to intercede for them, that they may know God's comfort and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through this holy sacrifice, God's countenance may shine upon those who have gone before us, purifying them and giving them eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, you have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become the bread of life. Thank you, God, forever. Bless the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become the drink of life. Brothers, sisters, and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this blessing, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross so that where death arose, life might again spring forth. And the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and everything of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with us all nations. May our voices, we pray, join with this in humble praise as we are clear. Holy, 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 holy. 
holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously may holy this gift you have brought to you for consecration, that it may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks, said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas Aquinas, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for failing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John Bonaventure, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, Seven. hallowed be your name, your thy kingdom, kingdom come, 
and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Stand with your spirit. Lamp of God. You will take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you will take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you will take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, my sisters and brothers, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, integrate me, water from Christ's side, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within thy wounds, hide me, suffer me not to be separated from thee, from the malicious enemy, defend me, in the hour of my death, call me, and bid me come to thee that I may praise you with thy saints and thy angels forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the speedy recovery of Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, Omnipotent and Merciful Father, who heals our broken hearts and binds up all our wounds. Hear our prayers on behalf of your servants and our Archbishop, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi. Grant him divine healing by the merits of Jesus Christ, your Son, and let your Holy Spirit hover upon him daily, as once the Spirit hovered upon the face of the earth, to bring life and freshness. Take away all his bodily infirmities and restore him to full health and pastoral ministry. Through the intercession of our patron saints, Saint Peter Claver, 
Martin de Porres, Martyrs of Uganda, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. May we remain united and resolute in our supplications for the intentions of our Archbishop. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Thanks to you, Father. Hymn numbered 113. 113. So the Mass is ended. Children of the Lord, take his word to others as you've heard it spoken to you. Go, the mass is ended. Go and tell the world. The Lord is. of light and wisdom, lofty origin of all being. Graciously let a ray of your brilliance penetrate into the darkness of my understanding and take from me the double darkness in which I have been born, an obscurity of both sin and ignorance. 